Hey everyone, hopefully you guys can hear this right. I had to reset the camera and everything, go to factory reset on it. I don't know what's going on with it sometimes, but it's okay. It still records, thank God. Uh, but this is a bit of a redo of a recording I tried to do yesterday, where I was talking about basically where I believe uh, systems, you know, similar if not identical to chat GPT, um, that are you know, basically by people, by companies like OpenAI.com, you know, where I see it eventually heading towards, basically what I think will be one of the end goals, essentially, you know, for at least, um, I guess you could say the beta, uh, free, you know, research, whatever they call it, um, uh, error it's in right now. And, excuse me there. And where I see it, you know, basically, where I see it basically, heading is, as I've mentioned before, it's learning along the way. Like, you try to get it to maybe write a certain kind of story, and then it'll give you a message of like, oh, I can't do that because it doesn't follow the guidelines, or it's alluding to explicitness, or it has explicitness, stuff like that. And then you have to add in keywords like saying, oh, there's nothing inappropriate here. There's, it's suitable for all ages. It, it follows the guidelines. And sometimes, you know, that will work. I would say maybe 50% of the time that will work. Um, but all the other times it might come back and say, no, I can't do that. The other thing that it is also kind of progressing and learning in is it gives you limitations of how many times you could try to get, you know, a story or whatever you want done regenerated to the way you want, you know, uh, before it tells you, hey, you've reached your limit. And... The catch there is it's telling you you've reached your limit in regeneration if you don't get your answer. Like it'll keep telling you, can't do this, can't do that. This is the reason, this is the reason. And then before you know it, it will say, hey, for the hour, you you reached your limit. And so you basically got to uh, wait. You have to wait your turn before you could do it again. And, you know, to me, that's fine. You know, that's absolutely fine if they, if they want to do it that way. Um... But to me, I think what the ultimate goal is at the end of the day, uh, we'll really get down to it. I think what the ultimate goal is, is a lot of these chat GPT-like services are going to institute something that we kind of see in some places right now as we speak, you know, with the free and monthly subscription option. And that is basically, you know, to access like a certain area or option, if you will, you have to let them know how old you are. Like, you know, basically let them know that, yes, I am of this age, thus I can act, thus I should be allowed to access this. And I think that's where it's heading. Because, you know, obviously I'm not the only one um, out there that would like to try to see what it would do if you tried to give it, you know, kind of a synopsis and I, some kind of, you know, little highlights and ideas for a story that might have some eroticism in it or might have some you know true explicitness in it you know myself and others are curious as to exactly where that would head like what direction and i believe sooner or later we're going to get to a point where these you know chat gpt like services are going to require you to put in your age like your date of birth year of birth and all that so that basically it will you know acknowledge not only are you that age but it will open a, it'll open up a door to a peripheral of you know opportunities that you can't get right now because you know it's still learning, it's still developing. But like I said, there's ways to get around it. There really is. Like, you know, I just out of, just for the fun of it, I did various different versions of a story with different female characters from the Sonic verse, where the basically the synopsis was it's raining outside very heavenly, very heavenly, it's raining outside and all that for them, so they can't go outside, they're stuck indoors. So these ladies decide, hmm, what can I do to pass the time? And then they come up with an idea, of why not just role play, dress up and role play as, as somebody else? And the story I developed is, you know, basically each of them become a femme fatale seductress. You know, they put on a tight latex-like outfit that they have stored away or whatever, just for whatever occasion. You know, they make up their face up, you know, lipstick, eyeshadow, or smoky eyeshadow, put
put their hair down over the left eye in a flirtatious way and basically start you know, role playing as, let's say, a mistress madame looking for help by looking for help from a detective, you know, a female detective, and I say that with all due respect, no offense, uh, to help them solve a case. And then from there, kind of see, you know, where things, you know, um, kind of go from there and see how where things, you know, take them is what I'm trying to say. And let's just put it this way. Some of the things I described to where, you know, they kiss their own reflection who they're imagining being the detective. They kiss it, you know, on the mirror, you know, in a passionate way and then maybe give it a, maybe just with a fun silliness, give it a lick or something like that and then invite them to their private chamber for a more, you know, ambitious reward. And what's funny is I would describe, okay, this, by doing so, it ignites something in them that, you know, they have to go and take care of in private and guess what? When I describe that, I'm thinking, okay, it's not going to let me do that. And only about a few times, I think about three or four times, it would tell me that. But a majority of the other time, it would say, hey, you're good to go. And it would actually go through with it. You know, because basically, you know, it's there's nothing really explicit, you know, being done. And it's just, you know, uh, the characters going off privately to take care of the issue that's been turned on in them. And by taking care of the issue, they also kind of still embrace the, the fantasy role play that they put themselves in by, the, by basically saying things like, you know, thank you to the detective for, you know, you know uh, thank you to the detective and everything and all that, saying that they've made the world move beneath them and stuff. You know, just, you know, just things you would think there's no way they would allow that to happen. But again... You know, I think what gets me around that and gets anybody around that when they come up with an idea like that is you're not getting explicit. You're just saying, hey, these girls have gotten so into this, you know, fantasy of being this mistress, madame, uh, seductress, that it's turned them on to a sense that they got to go into the chambers, their rooms in private and basically take care of business. And, you know, that's what happens. But like I said, I think what we're I think what we're all starting to learn on both fronts, both us as the users, the consumers, and the AIs and the people behind the AIs, I think what we're learning over time is basically, uh, basically, you know, what, 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 oh, hold on, hold on, let me uh, pause for a second. Okay, sorry about that, almost got tongue tied. But I think, like I said, I think what we're learning over time here is, you can basically find a way around to get around certain, you know, areas of these services to get what you want done, as long as it's done in a way to where even if it's suitable for all ages, the all ages, if they're implying like young kids, you know, they won't really have a clue of like, oh, what does she got to go take care of? You know, they'll be stuck in a loop, you know, mysteriously in their mind thinking, okay, wh what do they have to take care of? What, you know, wh what's the issue, you know? So, um, so yeah, you know, you, we're starting to kind of learn that there is ways to get like kind of a, a story of, uh, of sed uh, 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 let's say seduction, mystery, you know, maybe semi-erotic or whatever put in there, but you got to do it in a way that's, you know, that's kind of clean, basically still kind of semi-clean, semi-appropriate, stuff like that. And again, like I said, I think what's going to happen you know, in the near future, is you're going to have ChatGPT, Write Sonic, Bard, and many others that are very similar in tone. They are basically going to start asking, you know, in a future update, they're going to, you know, integrate and then start asking for you to add in your age, like add in your day of birth and everything. And then by adding that in and they're seeing exactly what you want, they'll be able to decipher, okay, you are of this age we we'll are allow this because, you know, you know, you basically told us that you're old enough of to, you know, understand what you're alluding to in this story or you, or you want us to allude to in this story. And it would also probably open up other possibilities, you know, from description wise and everything or storytelling wise. And also I think that if somebody, tr and I think it'll also get to a point that if somebody younger and not of age tries to pass them off or pass themselves off, you know, as older and everything, that just by the, what they're going to try to describe 
it'll be able it, it'll be able to decipher and be like, oh no 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 no, you're not of that age. You're out of here. We can't allow it. You're not what you're not the age you say you are. And I think that's what it's, I think we're heading to that moment. I think that moment is coming. And by by that moment happening, I guarantee that's going to open up many more opportunities. It's going to open up many more opportunities uh, creatively with these AIs. So either we agree with their existence or we don't. But yeah, I, that's why I think, honestly, this is heading. I think that's going to be the ultimate goal at the end of the day for all these AIs. You know, basically it's going to get to a point where they're going to ask for people to put in their age, you know, to kind of op be able to possibly open up, you know, um, areas, you know, that we don't, we can't have opened up right now or have descriptions or storytelling done in a way that we can't have done now because they don't know it was or not we're young or we're old or whatever. So to me, I think that time is coming. But what do you guys think? Do you think the time is coming real soon? How far do you think it's going to uh, go in the future? Uh, let me know in the let me know down in the comments below the live chat during the premiere. Like the video, guys. Love to hear from each and every one of you and your experiences with sites like ChatGPT. And if you've tried something like what I've described. And until next time, guys. I will talk to you later. Again, subscribe. Subscribe to the channel. Also, check me out and all the links down below in the description to help me out there. Live chat during the premiere, and I'll talk to you later.